way you dress and stuff, I don't think you're aware that you're a heavy set woman. That's what I said. I know I'm a big woman, so yeah. what? So I was guessing your weight. And I was going to say to you today, can you please get on the scale and then we'll have an over under? That's all? No. Why not? Why not? I'm not going to get on the scale if you're to weigh me. If you get on the scale, I'm serious. Why would you want me to get on the scale? I'll tell you why. So you could humiliate me. No. no. Stop being so It doesn't matter. We've all been on the scale. No. I'll get on it. Just get on the scale. I don't know. It's, it's easy. Just yeah. cut the one to do it. Benji, what are you yeah. saying? No, Wait a second. Just cut the one to do it, John. Just, just cut it the hell out. What are you saying, baby? Benji, just, but no, you're all of us on the fast forward. And I just get on the scale. It's no, no big deal. Doesn't want to do it. What are you, a moron, yeah, Benji? Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, you yeah. want to fight about it? Sure, I fight about it. Doesn't want to do it. Okay, so I want to talk about something really quick, and this is like not my usual content at all. But I really do not like body shaming. Like, if you have a preference or whatever, I can give a mad. Like, F, if you like skinny, small, petite, whatever. I don't care, man. But I feel like when you go out of your way to belittle someone or make somebody feel like crap, it really hurts my soul. It really does something to me. Because the fact that she, men can sit there and dig at a woman and pick at a woman as if she doesn't see herself in the mirror every day baffles me. And another thing that I want to add, because this pertains to a lot of people in this generation who do it now, I watch so many podcasts of men calling girls overweight, butterballs, making fun of them, just saying all this stuff. What in the world would make you think that anyone who's overweight or any woman for that matter would want to listen to you? When you're getting roasted and made fun of constantly, why the fuck would I take advice from somebody who's criticizing me? That makes no sense at all. And I just want to add something because again, this is not how I talk at all. For all the men who sit there and be little women and put them in a position to where they feel the way she does... Like, she looks scared, you guys. She doesn't even know how to react. How does that make you feel okay? And the fact that you keep doing that, don't pay attention to body language, ah, uh, that just, it irks my nerves a lot. But you know what also bothers me? The fact that a lot of men have had other men belittle them, like their fathers or people in their life, and you go and do the same thing to other people. I just don't, I, I don't get it. And thank God for men like Benji, because... If she was there alone, God forbid how she would feel. Like, I don't think a lot of people get this. Words hurt. Words stick with you. And if you want to encourage somebody to go to the gym or encourage encourage somebody to be healthier, this is not the way to go about it. I'm just letting you know that now because the one thing that I do with all of my friends, and I have heavy set friends, I don't want to hear it. I encourage all my friends to work out whether they're heavy set or not because I know working out does great wonders for everybody, for your mental health, for your body, all that. But doing this... You're not getting anybody to listen to you. So if you're doing this type of stuff or men complaining about women's body, be quiet. Guy out there, I'm so tired of this convo.